This video will show both the unboxing as well as the assembly and installation process to build the four post rack series of open frame server racks from StarTech.com. We will be using the included tools for the assembly and following the steps outlined in the manual. The four post rack series of open frame server racks from StarTech.com are shipped in a space saving flat pack box. The packaging is reinforced with corner protectors, tape, and plastic straps. Inside the box, the main components are bubble wrapped, sealed with tape, and secured together with zip ties and have foam protection to ensure components are secured. Additional accessories and components are in resealable bags and housed in separate cardboard boxes to make unpackaging and installation easy. The components consist of casters, leveling feet, grounding wires, M6 cage nuts, M6 cage screws, 13mm wrench, 10mm wrench, a Phillips screwdriver, cable management clips, as well as all M8 bolts and washers for the rack assembly. The frame consists of base brackets, corner sections, center sections, left and right vertical rails, and top brackets. A manual is safely housed in a binder sleeve to keep it protected. To begin, refer to the manual's warning statements and ensure there are two people for the rack assembly and tools such as pliers and a 14mm wrench if casters or leveling feet will be installed. Find adequate floor space to organize the components into corner and center sections, top brackets, base brackets, and left and right vertical rails. Before we begin adjusting the depth of the rack, refer to the manual's mounting depth chart. We will begin by building the rack from the side up. Using the included M8 washers and bolts, thread the bolts at the desired depth to connect the corner sections to the center section. Once all four are completed, we can begin with the rails and brackets. Lay the left rail down with its U-height numbers facing outward. Lay the combined corner and center section from the previous step face down, ensuring the depth numbers face the correct orientation. Next, attach the base brackets and hand tighten together with the two bolts. On the other side, place the right rail down, again ensuring the numbers face outward. Attach the base plate and fasten with two bolts. Next, attach the top brackets and fasten with two bolts. We can now turn the rack to its natural position and begin installing the vertical rails with the combined corner and center components. Use the provided 13mm wrench with all the bolts to ensure everything is tightened. The main structure of the rack's frame is complete. Using the M6 bolts and nuts and the included 10mm wrench, thread all bolts into each washer through the caster holes. You can tighten further by using a pair of pliers. Once all casters are installed, you can proceed with screwing in the leveling feet either by hand or with a 14mm wrench. You can then install the cable management clips in the orientation of your choosing. Follow this by installing the grounding wires, which you should connect to your infrastructure's earth ground. You can then proceed to install equipment using the included cage nuts. The rack assembly is now complete.